Well, Carolyn, it was emotional for Maddie Maroon and his family. He's 84 years old. He's not in the best of health. They wanted him out of jail by the end of this day, and that's what happened. I love our country. The best country in the world. And I love my family. It was the first thing 84 year old Maddie Maroon said when he walked out of the Wayne County Jail. He was almost tearful. It's not a country like ours. We better fight hard for it. Your family did everything for you to get you out and push for it. What are your son and your family? Thank you. Thank you. How do you feel we, about that? Feels wonderful. Are you feeling okay, now? Matt? The owner of the Ambassador Bridge and his second-in-command, Dan Stamper, spent more than 24 hours locked up after a Wayne County Circuit judge found them in contempt of court yesterday. Just happy uh, to go back to work and go home to my family. In contempt because the judge said they did not comply with his repeated order, his deadline to work with MDOT and complete what's called the Gateway Project, ramps connecting the bridge to area freeways. They spent the night in a jail cell while their lawyers went to the Court of Appeals and then back. And after the late afternoon ruling, Maroon and Stamper walked into the lobby of the jail where their families were waiting. Then, in the same clothes they wore to court yesterday, they walked out of the doors where vehicles were running and waiting to take them home. I'm just happy as can be that my dad's out, and, uh, and I'm glad he's got such a great attitude. What happens now, man? Yeah, what changes now? Well, I'll tell you what. We'll talk to you tomorrow after we celebrate a little bit. And they can celebrate a little bit, but Maddie Maroon's troubles are certainly not over. He still has to comply with the judge's order on that gateway project. But right now, it looks like he can do that out of jail. Reporting live at the Wayne County Jail, I'm Cheryl Choden, 7 Action.